Hi there, and uh, welcome to another episode of Avdi's Power Tool Adventures. Uh, the adventures of a completely power tool illiterate noob uh, learning about lithium ion powered tools. I don't think anybody actually cares about my power tool adventures, but I'm going to make these videos anyway. Um, so, when I last left off, I had, um, I had acquired, after a ton of reading reviews, um, and ag agonizing as I do over things way too much. Uh, I went and got a really well-reviewed cha uh, cordless chainsaw, the 16-inch uh, Ego chainsaw, and I was super disappointed with it uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, main, I mean, the biggest issue was it kept throwing its chain, like the chain in less than 24 hours of use, the, the chain popped off three times, and... Um, I had a lot of problems with its oil management as well. Really didn't like the way that was set up. So I wound up returning it and did a bunch, bunch more research. And I finally went out and I got uh, this unit instead. This is a Greenworks Pro 16 inch 60 volt unit. They have, they have a ridiculous number of, of tools that they make and a, a bunch of different uh, battery lines. They've got like a 40 volt line and a 60 volt line and an 80 volt line, I think. Might not be that many, but it seems like it. Uh, the 60 volt line gets really good reviews um, and they sell it. It's a, it's a Lowe's exclusive and I do prefer shopping at Lowe's over Home Depot, so that was kind of a small nice thing about it. But um, it's also more of a budget chainsaw, uh, more of a budget line of tools than the Ego line. The Ego is, is not the most expensive you can get, but they're definitely up there, definitely more, you know, catering to, like, the, the crowd that wants a really high-quality tool. Um, they get good reviews, but, man, I did not like that chainsaw. So some of the things that make this one different, I mean, right off the bat, it's obviously a cheaper, like, more of a budget device. Um, oh, I should say, like, what guided me to this in the first place is this the Greenworks tools come up a lot in reviews as well and they never take first place but they always do well and they they tend to get like uh, best value awards and like or like punches above its weight kind of ratings like wow this thing does really well for its price this thing is like $70 cheaper it was around $230 instead of $300 for the, the unit and the battery and the charger all together um, a lot cheaper. You can kind of see it. It's not as, as like exciting a design as the Ego. It's pretty basic, pretty plasticky. Um, doesn't have as nice a rubberized grip as some of the other tools out there, uh, which I do like the, the rubberized, like the chunky rubberized grips. So that's kind of sad. But, oh, you can also see it's just got basic bolt-on um, bar here. It doesn't have the toolless, the nice big chunky toolless um, uh, adjusters and knobs that some of them have. It's just you get a wrench with it and, and you bolt the blade on and you use that for adjusting it as well. So that's not as exciting. Um, but some of the things I like about it, first off, oil management. Nice big window here compared to the Ego for seeing how what the oil level looks like. This, um, this plug, uh, this cap, has a nice flip out uh, handle. Uh, just like on like the DeWalt and stuff, uh, flip out handle, really easy to get, I mean, it gets out of the way, but then once you flip it out, it's really easy to unscrew with gloves on. And also this, um, I'm not going to open it all the way up because it's on its side, but this, the opening is nice and wide. It screws on and off really, uh, really easily. It doesn't cross thread the way the Ego one did. I, the, the Ego cap cross threaded more often than it's straight threaded. Um, this goes on easy. It comes off easy. It it's a nice wide opening, really easy to fill. It doesn't have that stupid filter that the Ego had right inside the uh, inside the opening, which made it really easy to overflow and hard to tell when it was when it was full. This is just like really straightforward um, compared to that. Another thing that's that's obvious right off the bat: battery sticks up the top here. You get press a button, you get a battery gauge. I don't know if you can see it very well in the video, but you press a button, you get um, you get lights for how charged the battery is. Ego had nothing like this. First off, the battery was mounted transversely where you couldn't see it. Secondly, I mean, 
you had to press a button on it, but all you get is like it either glows green or it doesn't. It, it doesn't even have like a proper gauge on it. This one, you can see as while you're holding the tool, like while you're operating it, you can just press a button and see where the where the battery charges. I don't understand why anybody would make an electric tool that doesn't have that feature. Um, not a huge deal for me, but a lot of people have pointed out actual steel bucking spikes instead of little plastic nubbly ones. Um, I don't know how much that'll make a difference for my usage, but it's a nice touch. Something that is a lot more important to me, the Ego had what they call, uh, well, first off, it, it, like a lot of the, like a lot of the chainsaws in its class, it had a pretty thin bar. Um, I think it's like a, what do they call it? It's like a standard bar size. It's like a 0.41 or 0.43 or something like that, which is pretty common in this class. Um, this is the second generation of the Greenworks, and for the second generation, they, they put in a, a much bigger, like a, a torquier motor, and along with that, they upgraded the bar to a, a thicker bar than most of these little 16-inch electric ones have, and it makes a difference. Like, it's nowhere near as flimsy feeling and as easy to sort of deform um, while doing stuff in the woods as the, um, as the Ego was. So that was one of the things that I was looking, that, that drew me to this one. Also, um, it's got a fully toothed chain. The, um, the Ego had, like a lot of these, it had a, a skip tooth chain, which I think is basically, they do that because the motors aren't powerful enough to, to drive a fully toothed chain. So they have every other link has a, has a tooth on it. This is a fully toothed chain because they've got this big torquey engine in it, and holy crap does it make a difference. The, the Ego, when I started cutting with it, I was like, oh, well, this is not what I remember cutting with the chainsaw being like, but I guess that's the way it is with these electric ones. It's just going to take a while to go through a branch. Mm -hmm. This one cuts the way I remember chainsaws cutting. This one just goes through them like a hot knife through butter. It doesn't pull as much, it doesn't push as much, and it just goes straight through it fast. Um, and I think that's, that's all this because of this nice torquey engine and, um, and this thick, uh, thicker and full toothed chain that it uses. Um, and I'll demonstrate real quick here. Another thing I noticed, um, that I hadn't even like even really noticed in the reviews, but apparently it's got a chain, like an automatic chain brake. Uh, I think they call it a coast brake, um, because it doesn't like just coast down naturally. You can see the chain just like, like stop. Doink. and day between this and the Ego. This cuts so much faster, so much more confidently. It doesn't pull around as much. Um, it just tears through. Uh, tears through. Um, so those are the ma major things. Uh, it's also got a four-year warranty on both the unit and the battery, which is pretty great. Most of the ones out there, it's like a three-year warranty on the unit and maybe a year on the battery, year or two on the battery. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it remains to be seen how long this little 2 amp hour battery that comes with it will last. It might be fine for my uses, and if it's not, I mean, because this thing is, the whole thing is so cheap, I've got another $70 towards a second battery, so not going to complain about that. 